Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between script task and script component? Let's open SSDT or bids and take a look. So if we see here, I have these all tasks and I'm on control flow. What I see here, I see the script task. I do not find a script component in these tasks. Let's click on data flow and check the transformations available to us. So we do not see the script task available here anywhere but we have a script component okay so that's one of the major difference between script task and script uh, component the script task is available to us on the uh, on the control flow pan and the script component is available to us on the data flow by having them on different places that is a major difference in their functionality as well script task can do anything that uh, these uh, tasks can per perform so we can read the data from uh, different sources uh, in data flow task and then load the data into the destination the same thing can be done in the script task we can uh, move the file from uh, file uh, one folder to another folder by using file system task and that can be also done in the script task so any of these tasks uh, whatever they can perform uh, we can write the code in the script task uh, to do that but that's not really recommended if uh, we want to do that then why we have ETL2 so these tasks uh, whatever are available they are easy to configure and they they uh, they can be used real quick but there are scenarios where these tasks cannot be uh, used or cannot perform on what we need uh, to do in in one of the scenario I want to read the oldest file from the folder so how I can do it I do not see any fo uh, task here that can read me the file name from the folder so I can use the script task uh, write my own custom code and uh, get the file name for, for the oldest uh, with the date time and then load that file and so that's one one difference uh, we, we have here the script task is on the control flow and it can perform anything that we cannot uh, do by using these tasks next one let's go to the data flow and take a look on the script component bring the script component here so what we see here script component is coming with three options you can use this one as a source you can use this one as a destination you can use this one as a transformation so it works exactly like the transformation in data flow so what it is going to do if we are reading the data from some um, source we can use this one if we want to have this one as a destination and if we want to have this transformation data flow task actually provide these three types or categories of these three transformations source destination and transformation <clears throat> so if you do not have a transformation or that can perform some operation let's let's take a look in this one let's say we have a condition split we have data conversion lookup merge if I, I i want to read the data from a flat file source and then I want to create a sequence number with each of the row which transformation I can use so I do not have any transformation in uh, available in SSIS that can create me sequence number so I can read the data by using flat file source then I have to use uh, the script component uh, to generate those sequence numbers uh, and then finally write to the destination so that's one major difference uh, it works uh, um, script component uh, is going to work on the row by row and uh, it is going to use uh, the uh, data uh, flow pipeline um, and the script uh, task on the other end uh, is not going to use uh, that data flow pipeline uh, it can perform any operation as well but uh, every for everything you have to write the code by yourself so if you can want to uh, loop through the rows in the file uh, you can use the for each loop and uh, all those things in the script task but here with the script component uh, it will be automatically making the same flow what we have in the data flow like read the, from the source you, you know use as a transformation so rows will be passed through uh, to the uh, script component and the uh, transformation uh, will perform uh, let's say we can concatenate two columns or we take the average of uh, two values from uh, two columns and rows uh, so th that will be done and finally written to the destination so these are a couple of uh, major differences uh, between the script task and script component there, there, there could be more but I don't think so you're gonna get that much time to talk in the interview 
just for uh, the differences. So this is pretty much it for this video and I will see you in next video.